the girls should stick to more academic pursuits. It's left to the boys to salvage the situation. Education is not as good as it was 50 years ago. But you are just as good as the kids who were going through 50 years ago. No difference in you at all. And I think that you have to remember that at times when the young generation is criticised as being not nearly as good as your elders. Um, you can be if you want to be. Many thanks. Talks on moral fibre have little impact on Rebel Without a Cause, Joe McCready. He's been summoned to the headmaster's office yet again. Last week, your behaviour has reached a point which is necessary to put you in isolation for a complete day. It appears that it hasn't worked. This weekend has quite frankly been very cold. Spitting. Swearing. Speaking out of turn. Being disrespectful to staff, particular nature. Your behaviour has now become a major concern. From the moment he arrived, McQueen's been in trouble. He was punished with cold showers, regular detention. And the headmaster's ultimate deterrent. But his behaviour got worse, not better. He even damaged school property. I'm personally offended. And our relationship is suffering, which never had to. I want to remind you that King's School is a selective school. Here, we have standards, excellent standards, of work and behaviour. You have failed to maintain those standards. You are expelled from King's School forthwith. 
Mr. Rockell? Please leave. Today's schools bend over backwards to accommodate disruptive children. But in 1930s grammar schools, it was a case of toe the line or get to it. You got everything? Well, I suppose the final event was the staff meeting last night when it became apparent that over the weekend he had singularly managed to upset five staff who were uh, now finding that they were putting more time into dealing with his behaviour than to actually leading the group that they were trying to lead. You know, when I first heard him say that, I thought, I didn't believe it was true. I thought, you know, I could kind of get out of this on this occasion. It was decided that uh, the group was more important than the, the, the single one. I feel uh, like I've been uh, picked on by certain members of staff and that won't make me learn anything. That just make me feel better to them so, and, and, you know, feel a bit pissed off about the whole experience, to be honest. Tomorrow you're going to get the bear in question and you're going to get it wrong. And are you thick? The pupils haven't just been studying the subjects that will take O levels in. They've also endured science, French, and Latin 1950 style. You will be a lachrymose. Discover that for many of you, this is your last Latin lesson. The affair has been brief, but I feel informative. Am I ever going to see your face when you hide in that desk in dire Latin? You know what I'm talking to! You know what I'm going to do to you now, don't you? I'm going to... In the 50s, virtually every grammar school pupil studied Latin, at least for a couple of years. Last year, less than 2% of pupils took it at GCSE. There is a myriad of words that you use on an everyday basis that have a Latin root. It is very, very useful to know the history of your own language. And when you consider that 65% of English words have a Latin root, you see how important it is. I wrote down just some of them. So I will read up a Latin word, and you tell me what English word comes from this. Agricola means a farmer. Agriculture. Bellum, is a difficult one. Bellum means war. Rebellion. Very good. Rebellion. Equus means a horse. Equus means a horse. Equine, very good indeed. Equine. If you really want to master your own language, if you really want to master French or Italian or Spanish, having a good knowledge of Latin will help you enormously. So that old phrase, Latin is a language as dead as dead can be. First it killed the Romans, and now it's killing me. Recuviate that once and for all. Well, let's say omnes. I did all good day. On your mark. In the 1950s, getting off games with spurious ailments like headaches was practically unheard of. And at King's School, all the children run at the end of term cross country.
Well, I so have to sign myself. The trigonometry questions that you will face in the exam. The difficulty the pupils face in O level maths is deciphering complex problems. I have been uh, working out regular degrees. Okay. What's the answer to the question? To feel better about themselves, to have a more positive self-image. Uh, and three, some of them have actually no, lost weight, which has helped as well. Oh, I can't believe it. What are we up against? The